Hey guys, MTG Noob here, playing the Nihilist. I am on the play. Oh, this hand is very risky, as if I draw land, um, it could be pretty explosive, but if not, I think I just gotta ship this. Yeah, this is worse, but I'm gonna keep it. I mean, it does more against certain decks. If this was a green source, it'd be really good. I didn't like that hand before because it was it was kind of risky you know like turn one I'm not playing a 1-1 one, one, and then turn two I'm tapping out to play a 1-1 one, one, and if I'm against anything then I'm just in trouble alright so he goes and far seeks here looks like we're playing against bad, Bant again no miracle for one no thank you brother Alright, these angels are going to have to go a long way if we're going to win this match. This might just be a Jace, and he's going to plus it. That's a good draw. I think I just tap out here and get rid of that Jace while I still can. I'd probably rather use it for a Thrag Tusk, although it poops out a token but I can't really deal with this with my current hand like this is way too slow plus he's got so many counters it's ridiculous alright so he's just ramping so his hands not amazing that's quite possibly a dissipate we only have one green source we have a lot of red sources which is good if we draw our devil's play or anything saucy like that god he's up to seven mana already yeah, just play it on your turn. Alright, I guess I'll try to make an angel here. Angel, go. It doesn't seem like uh, angels are very scary. They can just put it on top or deal with it. It's not hard. I think he wanted to use this last turn, but he just couldn't. Um, probably really leaving myself open here, but I want to try to put him on a clock. So we'll most likely get one of these Azorius Charmed, or Celestia Charmed. I don't really have much else going on, but I have to then commit my green source to this. But since I opened up the can here, let's just do it not the smartest of plays in my opinion as this is I'd say most likely getting popped bounced etc etc he might just flash in a supreme verdict here I'm starting to not like this card very much looks like a supreme verdict I, I doubt a thrag tusk would be good here alright now our hand is just uh, just kind of poopy. Oh no, you steal that Jace back. I wouldn't even plus it. Uh, this is both bad. I guess we give him the Garrick and the Charm and the Dissipate. He takes the Garrick. And he plays the Garrick. And now I can bonfire for a million. Alright, um... Choose you. For three. Alright, for four. Okay, so we'll kill Garg, etc., and Beast. And we'll let him have Jace. As Jace does many a things. But right now, he's either going to have to sack Jace or 
really just pump it to buff it. All right, so we can two for try to kill Jace here. Um, I think that's gonna have to be the plan. We know he doesn't have one dissipate, but he can do so much here. I think we're more likely to be able to kill Jace than stick this Thrag Tusk. Both of these situations are not good. Let's, I guess we'll try to just bonfire him. See if this sticks. If it does, we kill Jace. If not, he uses Counterspell. He does have four cards in hand, so it's uh, possible it's not going to stick. Okay, he's trying to dig for a Counterspell. See if he found one. Yes, I would like to kill Jace. That was pricey. And he's just probably going to flash in another one. Okay. Oh, nope, healer. That's fine. Heal it up, my man. I think we can race a healer currently. Hmm. Singular threat versus multiple threat. Well, we know he didn't have a counter spell last time. So, is it better to get... I think it's better to get this into play. It's much more of a pain in the butt to deal with. Where if we play Thrag Tusk, he's just going to leave this back. He might just chuck this into play. Really? That's interesting. Why would you make a knight token there? I don't know. We will buff for one. At least we will try to. There we go. There we go. X equals one. See if maybe he'll flash an Arresto Angel here. Okay, that's fine. So he just wants to get really grindy here. Okay, Detention Sphere, my guy. Fair point. Play a Thrag Tusk. Gotta tap my mana better. Eh, I mean, I could have tapped the second wolf run. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's bash. We're gonna be okay. Do 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 do. Just bash. Gonna be okay. See how he handles this. This might go back on top, which I'm totally fine with. Okay, we'll trade out there. We'll just play another one. And we will pass. The turn is being passed. Dun, 
We will just trample on over. Put him in a seven. Get a beast. I'm not going to play this out here. Because we will play a beast. That was terrible. He shouldn't have taken so much damage there. Alright, so he plays a Thrag Tusk. I don't like that play at all. I guess he wanted to get rid of my token. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Do, 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 do. We'll play that and I guess we can O ring his detention sphere. But I wouldn't do that. I'm just gonna O ring one of his thrag tusks. And we'll pass the turn. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know if O-ringing this might have been a better play to just get a Hunt Master. Okay. He must have ripped there because there's really no reason for him to attack like that if he didn't rip. And he had to rip like a Celestia charm or something. Like a detention sphere, or just something that's not really fun for us. Alright, well, we'll see what he's got. He's got two cards here. He can put me to eight. And I guess we brick here a little bit. But we can trample on over. And we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. All right, this is probably an angel because I would have to think that he would rip an angel or another Thrag Tusk. Oh, Terminus, okay. Put that on the new game zone. New game zone for me and you, buddy. New game zone. Boom, boom, boom. He's up a card, which I'm not pleased. Entice me. Swing, maybe I'll block. I won't block. Okay. So, hmm. Oh, come on. These guys in the practice room. Come on. You lose once, you don't want a second match after talking all that crap. All right, well, check out the mtgnoob.com.